Hello everyone and welcome back, after a little bit, to Mail, this time for the month of June 2019. Uh, it has been a little bit. A little. There's been, there's been a lot of things going on in our, in our lives, but um, we're finally getting things settled down again. Uh, vlogs are starting to catch up, which is nice. And uh, as a result, we are finally dealing with uh, the stack of mail that we have needed to deal with. So uh, this is going to be the first release of several. So expect mail to catch up like fairly quickly at this point, starting with June. So now uh, our first package is from Amazon. Uh, let's see here. Um, there is. A gift uh, note. gift note, and it says, uh, Hi Stephen Mount, I saw this while looking for skins for my own Switch and had to send it to you. Hope you like it from Mackenzie, aka Murmur. And it's a decal for the Switch, actually. There's been some people that have tweeted me a picture of something, and I wonder if this is the exact same uh, thing. <laughs> it is. Look at this. This is a decal. Oh yeah. For the switch, and it makes I've your I've seen the tweets. It makes your switch look like a toaster. It turns your your switch into like the dock turns into a toaster. Uh huh. And then there's uh, decals to put on a on Joy Cons that make the Joy Cons look like toast. So then it and and also the switch itself, so it comes out of the toaster. Murmur. That is that is cute. And obviously this is on brand for us because. Well, we, I eat toast. It's on brand. It's it's very on brand because I eat uh, I eat hard hot bread, and there's a you probably can't see it all that well, but there's a little like completed thing of what little it looks picture. like. Uh, anyway, murmur. Uh, I appreciate this. This is uh, this is very funny to me, and uh, also decal girl. I think decal girl's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. I actually have decals on my original Xbox. It looks like a bomb. And it's weird because forever, I that was like my my Xbox. Yeah. So when I see Xbox that don't have a decal, which is like every other Xbox, I always get briefly confused. I'm like, that's not what they look like. They're supposed to have a bomb going off. And then I'm like, oh wait, no, mine's a sticker. And our next package is also from Amazon. So we'll see if there's a uh, gift note in this. And I, yes, there is. It says, uh, hi, Stephen Mount. Just one question. Puzzles in real time volume two, oh, AKA, no. <laughs> AKA Stephen's Descent into Madness from Skylar. Okay. And this, <laughs> it's a 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle, but they're micro pieces. What? And it's in Japanese, but the completed puzzle measurements are 38 by 26 centimeters. Well, this is black. Oh, you're reading something. I don't know what the rest of it says, but um, I know that means black. Is it all black? Like the picture? Yeah, it's also, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's an image. So this is basically like super masochistic if you wanted to put this together. Uh -huh. um, because it's super tiny puzzle pieces and they're all black. It's just black. It reminds me of those ones that are basically a rainbow gradient. Yeah. Well, at least there, I mean, it's still difficult, yeah. but you have a semblance of an idea. <laughs> this, this one's one, green. This one, you pick up a piece and you're like, where does this go? And it's like, you don't know, but there's 999 options. And then slowly, you do, I like how there's, do you see there's barbed yeah. wire? Like they, this is, this is, this exists to inflict Wait, wait, I need pain. to read the side to you. What does the side say? Beverly, we'll create your enjoyable time. When I think of an enjoyable time, I think Beverly. Anyway, Skylar, thank you. Um, I have to admit, this is probably the most unique puzzle we've mm -hmm. received. Uh, this is, uh, oh god. The thing is, it took us like eight hours to put together a thousand piece puzzle yeah. that had a picture where you could be like, find me the piece with the goose. 
But this is just like, how long would this take you? A long time. Forever. I think the thing on the back is supposed to be a, like a, there's some stickers where you can write like the accomplishment of like yeah. when you finished it. I guess you put it like on the back of the puzzle or whatever. And like, I don't even know like how long it would take. Anyway, Skylar, once again, thank you. There's a warning down here. Just, there's like a warning. Probably that you'll go crazy. Our next package is from Calvin and Bick in San Francisco, California. And it's hard. I have to open it over here because Sagan decided as soon as I sat down, he was like, I'll just lay on your lap forever. So like, you can't put it on your lap. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Cool. All right, I managed to get it open. And there's a little leather inside. And there's also some cat treats. And I'm wondering at what point Sagan... Will Sagan notice? Will Sagan realize? Oh, this is cool. It's embossed. Ooh, it's got a little butterfly mm -hmm. on it. Dear Stephen and Mal, it has been a moment. I have taken over writing the letter this time, at least. As we last left off, the stick-based dream team has separated. Kelvin and I are slowly settling into our new place. Although everything is pretty much unpacked, it's always a work in progress to put everything in its place. In the box, you'll find some familiar items like um, how it started. We've included stick-based products, aka Pocky and Pretz, and the beloved Kit Kats. We've done a little traveling, so there are chocolates from different makers. Hmm. Uh, mochi cookies of various flavors uh, for fun and mango flavor fruit jelly cups are used in place of packing peanuts to round out the box. <laughs> of course, we couldn't forget the kitties. Happy belated birthday to them. So their treats are right on top when you open the box. And Sagan is now looking at the treats. <laughs> His breathing has intensified. <laughs> As we move into the second half of the year, we hope for many wonderful memories to be made and a less stressful time to come. As always, take care and let's meet back for the next package, shall we? Shall we? All the best, Calvin and Big. You got through that. <laughs> <laughs> I got caught on a few words. Calvin and Big, thank you. Um, oh, Sagan. Sagan knows this sound. He knows that packaging. And he, yeah, he probably also knows the packaging at this point. He was very excited. You're very excited. And Kepler's actually right off screen on a chair. And he hasn't realized yet. When he realizes, there will be, there will be Hi. great concerns. There are concerns from Sagan. There is so so many wonderful things in here. Holy cow! So here's the mochi cookies with cocoa chips. Oh, those look really. These good. look real good. Like real, real good. Oh snap, dang! Uh, we've also got wasabi rice crackers. Ooh, Ooh wasabi I bet rice crackers. Jeff cr would like those. Jeff would love those. <laughs> um, there are. Uh, more mochi cookies. This matcha? time, these are matcha. Mm -hmm. Sagan, not every package is for you. These are banana. Ooh, I love banana so those and are, chocolate. Those are like your dream thing right yes. there. Kepler's starting to get interested, so he's on his way over here. We got giant Pocky. We've got the interesting chocolate bars. Uh, this is Mexican chocolate, mocha and cinnamon dark. The mocha's got Ooh, cinnamon dark sounds good. roasted coffee beans in it. Those both sound amazing. Um, there's a bunch of high chews. Which are always good. They These are chestnut Kit Kats. Oh, I heard about those. We haven't tried those, no. right? No. So that'll be something new. Um, there's also... Uh, Hawaiian. Hawaiian chocolate. 70% 70, 70 cacao. Uh, there are... Again, how this started. <laughs> uh, Pocky and Pretz and various flavors and shapes. What are these? <laughs> Ooh, what are these? Chocolate Rum banana Pretz. Mm. There's a few more here. Crunchy strawberry. Huh. Crunchy. One, one, one in English and one in Japanese. It's interesting. And then the rest of the box is just filled with these fruit jellies, mango flavors. There's like probably 20 in the box here. Um, these look amazing. I, I for one, am... Uh, Want to try the chocolate? The, yeah, yeah. 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 If that's all right. That's fine with me. Okay. And these are actually... This is really nice, because these are actually individually sealed. Sweet. <laughs> and they will be, because they're cookies. I see what you did there. Pie cookies with That's what mochi. it says. Pie cookies. Can I have half? Sure. That's a good way to, to try. Sagan is in the foreground, and everyone will just have to be okay with this. Now. Thanks, Kepler. 
Oh, they're so soft. The second is like, is that for me? <laughs> no. No, that's not for you. Chocolate's for the humans. Mm-hmm. It's interesting because the inside's kind of like, um... What's the consistency? Not as chewy as, like, a Starburst, but a gummy. It's like, like mochi gummy. Yeah, mm -hmm. like mochi. Well, I guess that makes sense because they're mochi cookies. But if you haven't had mochi, it's kind of, it's like half as gummy as a gummy bear. Yeah. That's a it's good... It's not super chewy. Like, you're not chewing on it like taffy very long. No. But I understand why on, on this little one they would say pie cookies because the insides, I eh, kind of like pie. Kind of. If pie was a little chewy. You are so concerned. You're like, but where's mine? Where are the treats? Where are mine? Well, honey, we can't open that package because we have a package open downstairs for I you. I know, we can't open two. And he's like, well, can I just have Pocky? <laughs> or just, I'll eat the Pocky. What's we know in this you'll box? Try. <laughs> you cannot have, honey. Anyway, Calvin and Vic, thank you. Um, I appreciate it, and we are we are stocked on snacks for mm -hmm. a bit. I'm going to consume all these mochi cookies very quickly. Next up, we have a package from Jen and Burnaby, British Columbia. There's a lot of um, it's it's one of those that's got a lot of like sides flaps. Yeah, flaps. Yeah, flaps. The Canadian Post has these um really good boxes that they ship with. It's kind of like our um, flat rate boxes. They're super nice. Yeah. These are, they're, it's not that the boxes are bad. It's just that, you know, then opening it can be. You didn't undo that side. Oh. Uh, I did. You did? Not good enough, but okay. I did. Got it. There is a, uh, there's a leather on top and there's all sorts of goodies in here. It says, Dear Grandma and Grandpa George, Greetings from Vancouver, Canada. By the time you receive this package, I'll be a married woman. My new husband is the one who introduced me to your Let's Play channel when we started dating three and a half years ago. We both talked for a while about sending you a package and taking a break during wedding stuff seemed like as good a time as any. There are several Wii games. Some are from our personal collection and some are from two game stores that we believe you were thinking of visiting during your time here but couldn't because of the distance and the time you had. Hopefully these will be good additions to your collection. I've also included some tasty treats. The ketchup chips are for Steve. If I recall, he really likes them. He does. He really likes ketchup and he really likes chips, so it's a good combination. And the chocolates are for both you and Mal. Double check both first. They do say may contain peanuts. And the smoked salmon is for both of you too. I always make sure to send some people, uh, send people some West Coast fish for a taste of my hometown. Don't worry, it's vacuum sealed for travel. Thank you both so much for being our most looked, looked forward to part of our evenings for these past few years. And we hope to send more goodies your way in the future. Best witches. <laughs> Sorry, I just opened a package from Calvin and Bick. Witches just comes out. Best wishes, Jenny and TJ, AKA the Bella Bunny and Sasquatch. Well, thank you. Well, first off, uh, congratulations. Um, that's super awesome. And uh, you said by the time you receive this package. Uh, so now you've been married for a while. <laughs> so again, congrats uh, to both of you. Let's see what's in here. Obviously we got the, uh, the ketchup chips. The old Dutch. I will pass those along to my father. Uh, there's also <gasps> crispy M and M's. Those are the best. Or in French. Oh, let's let's hear this. Roussillons. That's probably not even that far off, is it? Roussillons. Roussillons. That's what I said, basically. I think it's cru. Croustillons. Listen, the, the important thing is that you say it like that. <laughs> the more that you force it, the more <laughs> French it sounds to my ears that are not equipped to say or hear the language. So there's quite a few Wii games. Let's take a look at what's in here. There's a new Super Mario Brothers Wii. Uh, I've actually never played this game. One day I hope to actually get around to it. Uh, Manhunt 2 which uh, caused a stir when it came out. Bermuda Triangle Saving the Corral. Cor Coral. Coral. As soon as I said it, I was like, that doesn't make sense. It's an old Western game. It's a Western with horses and uh, octopuses. We've got to save the corral. 
Yeah, sometimes uh, my mouth says dumb things. Lego <laughs> Harry Potter, years five through seven. Uh, Soul Calibur Legends. Didn't actually know there was a Soul Calibur game on Wii. That's neat. Star Trek Conquest. <laughs> what? Corral. <laughs> Doggone it. Uh, Ratatouille. <laughs> Rock Band 2 for the Wii. Uh, My Sims. My Sims. My Sims. My Sims are on fire. <laughs> they are when I play. Need for Speed Pro Street. Igor the Game. And then there's also Smarties. Which, and Smarties. Which I, uh, I love. I think these are really fun. And then... Uh, Smoked Salmon. Although there's also a little business card for Game Deals Video Games, which was in Vancouver. There's really cute art that you won't be able to see. Dan can zoom in on it. We'll see how good it looks when it's, when it's zoomed in that far, but uh, yeah. And then finally, the Smoked Salmon. Savor the taste of salmon that has been smoked over alderwood and preserved in its natural juices. Refrigeration is not required until after the pouch is opened. Read the French, read the French. The gustes de salmon we at fume a la net conserved dans son jus. Il n'est pas nécessaire de la refrigerant avant la vôtre du sachet. Couple How of those close. Were right. How close was I? Tell your friends. Tell your friends that I don't speak French. Three good. Three good. Uh, this is this is really cool because this is like Canadian. You know because they littered the thing with uh, the Canadian maple, and it's up here and here. So they're really making sure that you understand. And the ingredients are salmon. That's it. That's that's what it is. Cool. Thank you. And, Smoked uh, salmon is very good. And thank you for uh, for sending the the Wii games our way. We're um, in the process of preparing for. Mal appreciates the MNF. We're in the process of preparing for uh, Extra Life, which is still GameCube theme. But as soon as that is done, the 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 timer is set. We'll have one year to try and finish uh, Wii, and you know. There's a lot still left There's to get, so we'll see how we'll see how it yep. goes. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, Jenny and TJ, thank you. Our next package is from Reynolds in Clayton, North Carolina. Well, Stephen wrestles with getting it onto his it lap. Is, it is so heavy. This is so. I. I. Does it have poundage? Sometimes it does. Yeah. Twenty-eight pounds. This. It's breaking my legs. This. This thing is 28 pounds, and I'm not exactly sure what is in it. Oh my god, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of uh, stuff you can stuff. see. Stuff. There's a lot of games. All right. Mm -hmm. Hello, random friends. Lee here once again with another box of stuff. But before we get to that, let's talk a bit. How are you? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good right now. I mean, things have been a little crazy, honestly, over the last few months, which is another reason why mail has been so late, but finally feeling like I can breathe. Yeah. So, I hope your move went smoothly. I mentioned before on your April's Patreon video that we had a very short notice to move at the start of the year. Despite it being stressful at first, it went smoothly for us, and now we've settled into the apartment life quite well. The best part is that we now live closer to work, cutting our drive from 40 minutes to just 5 to 10. It's a lot nicer, though a lot more than what we were paying. Still, it's a nice apartment though, and you both know what that life is like. But we like it. We both have a lot more space than what we had. My closet is actually in my room, not in the hallway. We've even been, be, uh, been able to get new computer desks, turning our living room into more of an office. I've recently replaced my capturing device with an Elgato HD60S and have started streaming. We're thinking of getting some cameras, maybe GoPros or something similar to start streaming board games also. Any camera suggestions? Um... I mean, GoPros, GoPros work really well, especially, like, for what you get for the money, like, a GoPro is a, a pretty good choice because it's very versatile. Like, mm -hmm. um, I don't have a whole lot of experience using them as a streaming camera, but, I mean, they're ultra-wide, so if you're trying to do something with, like, a board game, like, you could do that. Assuming you can, like, stream to them, and I'm sure that the newest ones you can. But then also, they're action cam, so if you want to take them literally anywhere, you can. And if you haven't picked up one yet, um, the brand, brand new one, the GoPro 8, I think it's 8, is going to be out real soon. And it's like 
good. It's real good. I And the one that I have is like a three or a four. And even I'm like, hey, what you doing? What you doing over there, GoPro 8? You're, you're pretty cool. I'm working on getting a gaming laptop next and turning my desktop into a dedicated streaming computer. Now enough about all, about all that. Let's get to what's in the box. Not even a week after sending my last package, I went to Goodwill and found that they had a sudden shelf full of games. Turned out that the GameStop nearby uh, donated a bunch of games that they couldn't sell and or got zeroed out of their systems. I instantly matched the last amount of games in one trip, though I did find an error on my part. I didn't know what I had just sent you, so there may be some duplicates. I know I did get two copies of a few games since then. One was by accident and didn't and I didn't see I had already had the game in the pile until I got the games home. I sent it anyway, because why not? Two were on purpose. One set had different disc art, the other had a, uh, I had found a better quality. I do want to note one of the games in here. The Halo 2 multiplayer map pack does not contain the Halo 2 multiplayer map map disc. It does, however, have a Halo soundtrack CD and a, de and a demo disc, so I still thought it was worth getting and sending. Unfortunately, there is a lot of generic GameStop pre-owned uh, covers and a few games in just sleeves. GameStop gave us some empty cases, though, and I've marked them. Some cases and or covers will have to be replaced due to damages to them. Uh, anyway, that's enough for me this time. I've rambled a lot in this letter. Hope you do have a great day. From Reynold, a.k.a. Lead Time. Reynold, thank you. This is an astoundingly heavy box. Yeah. Um, in the time that I've read your letter, uh, I do believe that both of my legs have slowly started to go to sleep. So let's actually dig in here and find out what uh, Reynold has sent our way. I have a Kepler on my lap. Yes. And They're he's so 14 easy. pounds, so that box is heavier than this. It's like two Keplers, two Keplers, but with a lot less limbs, and I think that actually probably makes the, the difference here. So we're gonna we're gonna run through this as quickly as possible, but it's uh, there is quite a few games here. So we've got uh, Simpsons Road Rage Platinum Hits Edition, uh, Xbox Over the Hedge. Um, there's also they're kind of grouped by system, I believe. Uh, there's NCAA 07. Uh, NFL Head Coach, Madden 07, Madden 06, uh, Hitman Contracts, uh, Halo 2 mul Multiplayer Map Pack, which as we've learned has, whoa, the Halo 2, uh, Halo 2 soundtrack in it. Um, I, by the way, I love this soundtrack. It's a good soundtrack. Really, really, there's, um, mm -hmm. I listened to it a lot in high school and there's a song on it and I'm not going to be able to place it. But it's like, um, do 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 Anyway, some people out there just immediately would like take it back. They're like, I know exactly what you're talking. Anyway, I love that song, and um, to this day, I still listen to it because it's great. Uh, there's Dead or Alive three. Um, there's some games that don't have, uh, art, but this is End War. Uh, holy crap, there's so many games in here! I see now why this was <laughs> yes. There's Conflict Vietnam. Uh, this is a Wii game. This is, uh, Zumba Fitness 2. I I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to even hold all these. I'm gonna start handing them to you. PS4, uh, Horizon Dawn, which says, look inside. <laughs> it's time to test Mania Tiger. <laughs> These are fun surprises. Is it Battlefield? Survey says it's Circus Star for the Wii. <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of these. Tomb Raider? Nope. Sorry. It's Balls of Fury, which apparently had a video game adaptation, um, which is surprising. Firewall Zero Hour? Nope. It's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. There's a, there's a, yeah, there's quite a few of these. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. No, nope, it's Boogie. There's also uh, the Black Eyed Peas Experience. I hear that that's actually Alex's favorite game. Um, and there's two more in here. Uh, WWE 2K19, which is actually Billy the Wizard. Billy the Wizard Rocket Broomstick Racing. Oh, I missed the best part of reading that. And then finally, uh, Guinness World Records, the video game. What do you do in that game? In Guinness World Records, the video game? Do you break world records? Or it's a trivia game. 
Or, yeah, that makes more that, sense. In my opinion, that makes more sense, but God knows. There's a Universal Studios game, and you, like, ride the rides, and there's, like, seven rides. What system is that? GameCube. I know what I'm pulling for for Extra Life. It's fascinating. <laughs> I rented it as a kid, because I was like, why does this exist? I remember it being, like, close to launch. Anyway, uh, UFC Sudden Impact. Uh, Jet Li, Rise of, Rise to Honor. Uh, fish to win three. Fish to win. I'm kidding. It's called real fishing. Uh, NCAA 08, NCAA 06, NCAA 04, NB, MB Live, NBA Live 2004, NASCAR uh, 06, Total Team Control, MVP 06, NCAA Baseball, MLB Pro. That's not, it didn't say pro. MLB 09, The Show, Medal of Honor Frontline. This is a good game. Uh, Madden 08, American Idol. Uh, Guitar Hero World Tour, uh, Guitar Hero Encore Rock the 80s, Guitar Hero Aerosmith, Guitar Hero Aerosmith again, uh, the original Guitar Hero, and man, seeing that art just takes me back in time and to a wonderful, wonderful spot in my life. Uh, FIFA 08 Soccer, Dance Dance Revolution, Supernova, uh, a Wii U title, Guitar Hero Live, uh, Link's Crossbow Training, Go Diego, go! Great Dinosaur Rescue! Uh, Disney Sing It Pop Hits, Skylanders Swap Force, Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2010. This one's a Wii game just called Spray. Okay, Disney Sing It! And there's 150 and more to see to be a Pokemon. Uh, World Championship Poker. Are you running out of space? You have to probably make another stack here. Uh, Xbox One title. There's a few of these. Skylanders Trap Team. Uh, Skylanders Superchargers. Uh, Tony Hawk The Ride. The Ride? T Tony Hawk Ride. Oh. Not. It's not an amusement park ride. That's what I thought. It's the one that had a physical skateboard that you stand on. Have you ever seen that before? Nope. We don't own the physical skateboard. Um, and I used to see them for like, the whole thing was in stores at like Big Lots. It was like five dollars. They couldn't give them away. But now I haven't seen one in forever. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 09. Queen Sing Star. Uh, Rock Band 2. Rage Anarchy Edition. Pure Football. Authentic Soccer. Football or soccer, make up your mind. NBA Live 09, uh, 2K Sports NBA 2 something. Which one is this? 2K9, which is different than 2009. NBA 2K10, uh, Madden NFL 13, Madden NFL 08, Madden NFL 07, Infamous 2, uh, which was the sequel to Infamous 1, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue, this is Dishonored. Oh, I did the first 20 of that, it was fun. This is Dishonored again. Uh, this is Xbox 360's 2K Sports College Hoops NCAA 2K17. Is that 2K17? Oh, 2K7. I was like, 2K17 on Xbox 360 seems wrong, but it was. Uh, that is... Well, <laughs> Coach 09. Yeah, thank you, you got me. I'm almost through this. Uh, NHL 2009. <laughs> Uh, you have to just put them down at some point because you won't be able to hold them all. There are too many. Uh, NHL 2009, NCAA uh, Football 2010, NBA 2K7, uh, <laughs> Contra Dance All Stars, X Xbox 360, Dance Dance Revolution Universe, Dance Dance Revolution Universe 3, uh, Enemy Territory Quake Wars, Fight Night Round 3, uh, Game Party in Motion. Uh, the Hip Hop Dance Experience, Jillian Michaels Fitness Adventure, Just Dance 4, Just Dance Kids 2, Just Can't, Just Can't, <laughs> Just Can't, just kids can't kids. Dance 2, 3 Kids, FIFA 08 Soccer, FIFA Soccer 10, FIFA Soccer 11, uh, Lego Harry Potter Years 5 through 7, uh, this is a sealed copy of Lego Lord of the Rings. Uh, Madden NFL 06, Madden NFL 08, uh, 2K Sports MLB Front How Office Manager. We're almost there. Uh, motion Sports. I mean, we're almost there, but you can't hold them. Sorry, I should clarify because otherwise you will, they'll fall and you'll be crushed. <laughs> motion Sports Play For Real, NFL Head Coach 09, 
NCAA 08 football, NCAA 08 March Madness, I'm stumbling over all my words, NBA 2K8, NBA Live 09, uh, NHL 2011, pure. Splinter Cell Conviction, uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 11, Tony Hawk Ride, again, uh, Zumba Fitness, Ace Combat The Unsung War, hold on, we're almost there, uh, Hot Brain, and Buzz Master Quiz, that guy looks like uh, the guy, Adam ruins everything. All right, and then the last ones, Paul's and Claws, Let's Ride Friends Forever. Yes, let's ride friends forever. I've I've often thought that exact phrase. Uh, Pets Hamsters Superstars. Nancy Drew The Hidden Staircase. Nancy Drew The Case of Hannah Montana. I'm kidding. Uh, Hannah Montana The Movie and... Energy Horse Riders. I'm glad we saved the best for last there. It took me a minute. I was like, what is that? I thought it was trying to say emergency but it's energy, horse riders. Holy crap. Uh, Reynold, that is... Um, a lot. That is a lot of video games. Holy crap. Please don't knock those down. And Sagan was immediately like, I could stand on that pile. Mm, I yeah. barely have the coordination to jump one foot onto the bed, so asking me to balance carefully on a stack of video games is impossible. But I'll do it, because I'm clumsy, aren't you? You are. You look so mad. Uh, Reynold, thank you. Uh, this is a, a lot. Yes. This is a lot of games. Um, it will take me a little time to get these sorted and added onto the list, um, but they should be... By the time this video comes out, they should be sorted and hopefully added, added, to, the list. added to the list. Sagan's <laughs> like, I need to go check out this deck. Please don't cl crawl on them because you will fall. Push. They actually, we are very fortunate that the cats don't do that. Yeah. Because that's like a thing on the internet is cats just going blurp. But our boys really don't ever do that, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Try to crawl on stuff, yes. Yeah, um, or like push it with their bodies because they don't realize. Yeah, because yeah. they don't understand. But hopefully that won't happen here. Um, that was a strange noise, it just like... <laughs> anyway, I gotta keep this beast down. I'm gonna end this video before the beast comes out. Um, Reynold, thank you. Uh, again, there's an astounding amount of games here. Um, and I'm gonna have to find... <laughs> My first thought is, I'm gonna have to find a place to put these video games. Uh, to everyone who sent stuff in, sincerely appreciate it. Um, we are... Uh, marching closer to Extra Life this year, mm -hmm. um, but also Extra Life next year is Wii, and we are trying to complete the Wii collection. As you can see behind Mal, we have a good bit of them, um, but we're still missing yeah. a lot. Yeah. So we're going to be working on that to the best of our abilities. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to learn more about how you can send mail our way, there's a link in the description box that will tell you all that you need to know including where to send it, what to send, what not to send, etc. And uh, as I said at the beginning of this video, be on the lookout because more mail videos are heading your way very, very soon. <laughs>